back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a video that is just, I don't know, I just think it's like the coolest DIY slash storage solution for your makeup and I'm just, I'm so excited about it. So very simple DIY, also very, very, very inexpensive. So I think the paper, um, each piece of paper only cost me a dollar and then the rocks cost me a dollar. So this is basically like a dollar store DIY. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, but let's get right into it. Okay, so you're going to need a glue gun. You're also going to need a lovely pair of scissors. You're gonna need some river rocks. These are from the dollar store, but you basically just need some flat rocks. So if you can just find some outside, then that's good too. You're also going to need three pieces of paper in the three colors of your choice, and then we can get started. This part is so easy. It reminds me of when I was in school and had to build those things like rectangular prisms and stuff like that. So I just have three templates for you guys. This first one is the largest and it will be the large geometric ball. The second one is the smaller geometric ball. These are gonna make up our makeup brush holders. And the last one is going to be the one that holds kind of all of our little compacts and our nail polish and things like that. So I've gone ahead and just printed out our large geometric ball. Once again, this is going to be the largest of the two makeup brush holders, and you should have something that looks like this. The templates will be in the down bar so that you guys can just open them and save them and then print them out, and it's just on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet that pretty much every paper size is. So now I'm just going ahead and cutting along those lines. And voila, this is what you should be left with. And now it's just so, so simple. You just wanna fold on every line that you see. Every single line that you see needs to be folded. So I just started by folding it this way. Um, and then, yeah, once it was all folded, then you wanna start folding it the other way because you don't want the black lines to show when we glue it together. So just take that and start folding in the exact same place just the opposite direction. So this is what you should have at this stage. You want um, all the tabs facing into the black lines. And then basically we're going to turn this into a ball. So I kind of just start by making the ball shape. So I kind of have an idea of where everything goes. And then here is the trick for gluing. So you see how there is five triangles. You have one, two, three, four, five triangles. So you're basically going to be making groups of five. So you see this tab right here. We are going to be gluing that and attaching it like this. I found that using a glue gun with cardstock paper is kind of the best idea and it held the best. So once you have your little five triangles, then just kind of roll it over and you'll see now there's another five triangles. And so now you want to attach that tab together. You're basically going to just be repeating this um, quite a few times. And once you get to the end of your ball, you're going to be left with something that looks like this. You're basically going to have two kind of tabs that aren't stuck together and you're going to want to cut off one of the triangles. And this is going to help give us the opening for the makeup brushes, but you definitely need it to be the last triangle that is attached. Once that's cut off, you're also going to cut off one of these tabs and there you go. You should have something very similar to this. Uh, the last step is to take your glue gun, put a bunch of glue in the bottom of your geometric ball and take one of those flat little rocks and kind of glue it in there. Now the rock is basically going to act as a weight so that when you do put your brushes in, it won't fall over. Next, if you want to, you can go ahead and start building the smaller one. Now it's the exact same template, so you're just gonna repeat the exact same steps. It's obviously just smaller, but if you wanna make another big one, then you can do that as well. Now the last one is a little bit more complicated, but bear with me, we will get through it. Um, so you're just gonna wanna start by cutting out the shape, but you'll notice that on the template that there's some thicker lines and where the lines are thicker, you're actually going to want to cut all the way in just as I'm kind of doing right here. Um, but you only wanna cut all the way in on those lines and you have to make sure that you do do that because it is very, very important. <laughs> Then as we did with the other ones, you wanna fold on every single line you see and make sure that the black lines are facing inward. It does get a little tedious, but I would say for being such a cheap DIY, like, I mean, you can't complain. Now the next step is to go ahead and put some glue. We're starting on number one, go in order, and then you're going to want to glue that to the back of the triangle that is beside it. So. Every number you're going to glue to the triangle that is beside it and you want to go in order. So now doing this will give us this bowl like shape that we're after. And yeah, it is so, so simple and it is so, so cute. I'm just, I'm just head over heels in love with this one. 
yeah, you could basically put anything in it. I personally love the idea of makeup brushes, but of course, even though that's what I said this video is for, you can put anything in it, markers, hair brushes, literally anything. And same with the little bowl, you could put, you know, elastics, I don't know, anything you want, but I just decided on kind of my go-to makeup products of the moment. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was super, super fun to make. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.